going on everyone? It's E-Man here from the C-List Villains and E-Man's World of Geek and today... Mail Call. Now before we get started, do me a favor and make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notified anytime I drop any one of these new videos. It's been a bit since I've done a mail call video here on the channel and well, recently I went on vacation. What's cooler than being on vacation is when you come back from vacation and you have all of these packages waiting for you. So today I'm going to open up a few packages that have been waiting for me for quite a while. So I really can't wait to show you guys what I went ahead and purchased. And I'm going to also show you the secret to the success of this luscious long hair of mine that's right i'm gonna show you guys what my secret is but you're gonna have to wait until the end of this video to find out what it is let's go ahead and get things started i haven't done that in a while i, I kind of miss that um first up i'm gonna go ahead and get things started with this one right here now i went ahead and and, and saw some, it's funny because mark from legion of comics anytime anytime his dad posts something that may catch my attention i, I love it because he, he just tags me he's like uh yeah this one needs to go to e-man um tags me and i'm like pops it's, it's a no-brainer I, I i want that he's like it's yours so pops i really thank you for being patient with me i know i know like i went ahead and put in a claim and then like a couple of weeks later i was like oh you know what i found some other books that i want to get so uh what i'll go ahead and show everyone what pops Mr. Legion of Comics, his father, went ahead and sent me. Well, he didn't send it to me. I bought it. You know, it's not like he just gave it to me out of the kindness of his heart. He was just like, oh, yeah, you man, no worries. Boom. Like, yours. You know, my friends um, just so ever so kindly gave me this uh, this nickname and it stuck. You know, and it. it <laughs> Emmanuel, do not do it. Emmanuel, don't do it. Emmanuel. My name's Emmanuel. People have tried to call me Manny. I have literally like four or five friends that I still kind of let let that happen. But to be perfectly honest, I I don't like it. It's not something that fits me. I know Manny Manny from Manny Reeks Comics. He goes by Manny, and that's fine. Everyone's got their thing. But I just never really liked Manny. So uh, my friends, um, after a while, they're like, "Dude, you know what works, man? What about E Man?" I was like, "That works. I'm very much okay with that right there." Um, so when Pops, here, let me show you, let me show you, I'm going to show you guys. Man, we packed this in really good. This is, this is defeating me. It's beating me. It's beating me. It's beating me. It's not going to beat me. Ah, that's right. Uh, let's see. Here we go. He's going ahead and give me, oh, he, he gave me a packing slip. Who looks at the pack? I don't look at the packing slip. I, oh, ho, 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 oh, I got Oh man, I got, he threw in a little something extra in there. This is all you guys out there collecting your sports cards ain't got nothing on what I'm about to show you right here. But let's go ahead and get things started. First and foremost, um, I've mentioned this before. I started collecting this particular comic in the 90s um, because the cover artist of this and the interior artist, um, I just fell in love with his work. I thought his work was fantastic. Unfortunately, there was a falling out with one of the creators from Image. Um, but with the movie coming out, you know, Pops had a great deal on it. And because I really do like the covers on these books, I was like, you know what? I, I, this is a no-brainer. I have to get this one. So, first thing I want to show you guys is I got Profit right here. Number four. Number five. Six and seven, all by this amazing artist, Stephen Platt. And I mentioned before, like I really enjoy his work. His his <laughs> yeah, his work his work is so over the top. It's insane. It's almost as over the top as Rob Liefeld's was. But it was just super dope to me. And um, so uh, Pops had these. I was like, oh, I need these for my collection. I missed out on them in the nineties. I have like number one and number two somewhere in the collection. 
I was like, you know what? Let me let me get these let me get these right here because I really did like Stephen Platt's work and his interior work in there. I thought it was really cool too. That's one of the reasons why I want to go back and pick up the Moon Knight series that he did was because of his work, because of his style, uh, stylings and, and whatnot. It was just I just thought it was super dope. So when Pops had that on for sale, I was like, I need to pick that up. That that's no brainer. But this one right here was a definite no-brainer. As soon as, like I said earlier, as soon as this was thrown up on um, Pop's um, Instagram, Mark immediately hit me up. He's like, uh, no, this one needs to go to E-Man. So, right here from First Comics Deluxe Series, introducing Michael Mauser, Private Eye. I'm looking at E-Man number two. Now... Now, now, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Something special that's coming up really soon with regards to this book. Um, and we're still deciding whether it's going to be on my channel or on the C-List Villains uh, channel. And uh, I, I kind of want to know a little bit more about E-Man. So uh, keep an eye out because there's there's something there's somewhat, something in the pipeline regarding this right here. But anybody out there, and I've mentioned this before, anybody out there trying to get, your, get rid of your E-Man comics, Hit me up. Let me know. Let me know if you find some like out in in, in the wild, and you're like, you know what? I I, I know someone who gets, we'll work something out for sure. We'll definitely work something out. This I don't I haven't, I haven't even read this book yet. I'm just in it to collect it just because of how silly silly it is. And, and, and namesake namesake. Come on, come on. How many of you guys out there have a nickname after a superhero? How many? Probably like one percent of the one percenters out there. Uh, e has got a comic book. <laughs> but, but honestly, the grand prize of this one right here, you guys don't have nothing on it. All you guys out there looking for your Michael Jordan rookies, all you, you know, guys out there looking for your, you know, special edition, you know, Tom Brady's. Psh, I have me. A first print produced by Specialty Cards in 1995. One of those rare 90s gems that I know is worth more than what eBay states. And, and I will, I will say this out loud. I have me a gem. First print sent directly from the man himself, Sergeant Russ Landrum. That's right, we have. Mark's dad's card right here in my house. Who has this? I know maybe four of you guys out there have this, but like I got one now too. One is out here on the West Coast. Guess what? Super limited edition, extremely rare. Sergeant Russ Landrum. This, this, this was worth everything I paid for, right? This right here. You guys don't, you guys don't know nothing. No one. Nobody has that. I got one. Bam! Sorry, John Jane, you're gonna have to make room for Sergeant Russ Landrum, my friend. You're gonna have to share the wall with 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 glory. John Jane's got to share that wall with glory. This wall right here is is, is a lot of John Jane stuff. No, 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 we're gonna have to start cycling stuff out. Sergeant Russ Landrum. All right, you guys, all right, stop screwing around. On to package number two. This one comes from the 616. To be 179% honest with you guys, I really forgot what this was. Um, I got the email, and, and I know for a fact it's a John Jane book. I know it is, but I forgot which one it was. So let's let's take a look. Let's see. Let's 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 see what new john jane goodness is going to be added to this collection right here because you know you know i'm a friend of the friend of this show me and john go way back about two years you know we go way back <laughs> but uh i know this is a john jane cover and um i, for, I really did forget what it was uh, it was one of those things too when i was like I don't know if I can get like the full set, but I definitely want to add that to the collection. So I don't, I don't know if this is this or that or oh yeah, it's only one comic. It feels, it feels like it's only one comic. Feels like it's only one comic. Yeah, yeah, face down. Let let let's. What is this? What is this? It feels kind of thick. What is this right here? 
you know, uh, let me look at it. Let me look. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is dope. This is his foil cover for Batman number 125. I thought this book was really, really, really cool. This is the foil. Trust me, it's the foil. I, I'm going to try to sh show some glare to see if I can catch some of that foil goodness right there. But yeah, this is the foil for Batman number 125. And I know he had, I know he had like another, uh, th there was a whole set that you could have bought from the 616. And I was like, I want the set, but I, I just can't right now. I definitely want to get one of these added. And when I saw that they had the foil, I was like, you know what? I think it's worth it just for the foil. So I missed out on the on the, on the the other two versions that was out. But I was like, you know, if I'm going to get one, let me at least get the foil. But this one is really, really dope. Like you, you can't, there's just, there's one thing about YouTube is that you can't see certain books in all its glory. You just can't see them like for what they are because this foil, this foil is actually kind of delicate, man. This is, this feels kind of, Wow, the foil paper on here feels really, really different, you guys. Usually when I get the foil, you know, you know when you get a foil, it's kind of thick. This one, this one seems really thin, almost really, really delicate. Um, so I got to be careful with this one. But yeah, John's Batman. John the way, John, John does a fantastic job with the, with his work. I think it, it's just phenomenal. And this one right here looks super, super dope. Um, but yeah, I... I I can feel like how careful I need to be with this one right here. Um, try not to get any scratches on it. But man, this is gorgeous. This looks okay. All right, it's look. I'm gonna replace another John Jane something up here. It's gonna go like right there. So okay, it's gonna go somewhere. <laughs> on to oh, this is another one from the six one six. What? No, two from the six one six. What did I get? See now I don't really remember what this one right here is. So here's the third pack. I love it too because like. I have so many of these comic shields like in storage. <laughs> I shouldn't say that out loud. It tells you how much I've, I, how many comics I've actually purchased from like BTC. But to see like the 616, they have their own comic shield. All right, that's pretty dope. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. One of these days I'm gonna get sponsored by one of these, 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 uh, by one of these uh, shops, like I promise, I'm, the sponsorship is wide open. If you guys want to sponsor the channel, I have no problem with anyone reaching out to me about sponsor, getting sponsored on the channel with all my hundreds and hundreds of watchers here. <laughs> all right, let's take a look and see what what, what else did they send. I'm pretty sure that they could. I'm pretty sure they could have just combined the shipping, but they're like, oh, we're gonna charge you for shipping twice. <laughs> um. But what did what did I get? What did I get this time around? Oh yeah. Yes. All right. So uh, I have the Batman number one twenty five. Uh, now I have the Something Is Killing the Children number twenty five with the cover appearance of Cutter. This girl is crazy. This girl's a freaking psycho. She's she's. I'm kind of scared of this lady. This this lady kind of freaks me out. So we have Cutter. Um, we have like the like the red blood, the blood. I don't call it a blood vein, but it's like more of a reddish uh, hue on this one right here. And then this one, this one, this like 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 those. Those came out really nice, really really nice. I, I'm really digging it. I really 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 am digging this one right here. And if you guys aren't reading, something's killing the children. If you want to jump on, jump on issue 21. You know, cause, cause that's that's a great beginning to this current arc. So, uh, yeah, with Cutter, C Cutter's gonna be like one of my new favorite villains. She's insane. She's insane. She's someone. She's someone that you you really need to watch out for. No, that's not it. So, I don't know if you guys know, and I'm not gonna say I have a fake Jason Momoa Instagram account out there. You guys don't know anything about that. I'm not gonna share it here publicly because it's one of those things where, where this alternate personality doesn't follow anybody. He follows one person, that is Jason Momoa. And of course, as you can tell, the reason why is because well, you know, he's trying to match the glory that is Aquaman. And I'm going to show you exactly what my alternate personality, Jason Mamon. Any Spanish speakers out there? 
I'm gonna show you guys exactly what Jason Mamon does to upkeep this hair. And anytime he goes out to a resort or out on vacation, he makes it known that he makes his presence well known where he's at. It makes let's let's everybody know that Jason Mamon is in the house. So, I've mentioned this before on Mark's channel. This is not comic book related at all. Wait, hold on. Let me double check. Uh, no, 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 no. So, this place has... I could have made this comic book related, but I didn't. Maybe the next, the next one that I get, it will be. But I mentioned before on Mark's channel that I am a soap scriber. Listen up, the soap you shower with, it's Two. Dr. Squatch. That's right, again, looking for sponsorships. If Dr. Squatch wants a little bit of this, please, by all means. But yes, I do subscribe and I do give my Dr. Squatch uh, a shampoo and conditioner. That's right, I do shampoo and I condition this. And I even also get like the the soap so every every few months I get like a brand new a few bars of soaps bay rum right there this one smells really 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 good bay rum is one of my favorites fresh falls this one's okay I probably should have changed this out I forgot I forgot my subscription was coming up and I forgot to change this one out this one this one's okay it just smells like basic soap uh, but the grapefruit IPA any any beer drinkers out there this one mm, yeah this one definitely does not smell like a real IPA but it still smells really good so anyone out there Curious, I'm gonna go ahead and push it because Bay Rum and Grapefruit IP are my favorite soaps. These things smell hella good. But for the gloriousness that is the hair. Cool fresh aloe. These are currently my favorite ones right here. That's right, it's not comic book related, but damn it, it is damn right. Pop culture related just because of their commercials. You're not a dish. You're a man. Well, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Now, remember, I co-host the C-List Villain Show with Red AJ and Luke over at our YouTube channel, The C-List Villains. And then keep an eye out here on my channel. I will be releasing The E-Man Show every Tuesday afternoon. That's right. It's going to be pretty much the week and geek and what I'm looking forward to picking up on new comic book day that following Wednesday. So keep an eye out. 1 p.m. Pacific time, I will be starting the E-Man show. It's going to be me writing solo. It's going to be a segment show, and it's going to be nonsense, and hopefully it's just a good time, and, and I invite everyone out there to come by and hang out with me. That's it for today, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Until the next issue. Deuces. <laughs>